I will make a very quick uh, talk about X IDE uh, because I'm a new member, I'm quite a new member, and that was the first question, and I think that's a very important question when you start with X. Uh, what tool should I use? I'm sure all of you have one favorite IDE. Uh, I won't question that, that's your choice. You're free to, to choose. But I'd like to give you the opportunity to see the global uh, Axe environment, and so you have all the choice you need. So what's your favorite Axe IDE, and is it the right, right, what, right one? Let's start with me. Who am I to tell you that? Uh, I'm JB. Uh, I'm the lead developer on Girard, an e-learning framework at uh, Knowledge Player in Paris. And uh, I discovered Axe in 2012, so fairly uh, recently. And uh, uh, during two years, I tried a lot of uh, ID, editor, all kind. And I choose some checkpoints with each ID I used. First, uh, OS com compatibility. Uh, I'm using a, a Mac for work, I'm on Ubuntu uh, at home, uh, I have sometimes a, a PC on my end, so that's a very good choice because you can't do anything with any OS. Uh, secondly, auto-completion abilities. I, I'm sure you all know why. That's very the, the real interest of IDE. Helpfulness, uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, integrated uh, source control, uh, refactoring, uh, and all sorts of uh, very tips and tricks. And you have a lot of common other uh, options like look and feel, uh, is it open source, is it free, uh, what's your habit? Maybe you have another IDE and you like this one. So for this presentation I've tried a lot, I told you. Uh, Exactly 10. That's fair enough to, to have a, a good map of the environment. So let's start. First, I'd like to, to start with the most popular. I did a quick survey on Twitter, and like 60% 60 of you, of you uh, are using Sublime Text. Uh, Sublime Text is an editor with a very good Axe plugin, uh, developed mostly by uh, Clemos. Sure, no. Uh, that's a very good uh, editor because it's multi platform. It's working seamlessly on all the three major OS. It's very powerful, uh, good auto completion, a uh, lot of very uh, kind of cool tricks you can do. If you have just a quick look on it, oh, <laughs> a very ugly look. Here, you can see. Good color. That's actually a cocktail for the one who, who, know, who recognize it. Uh, so, very good completion. And uh, I won't spend any more time on it. But you should definitely have a look. But uh, one major problem that's not an IDE for my definition of IDE because uh, that's just a powerful text editor. So if you're using, like, uh, if you're used to Eclipse or those kind of uh, IDE, it's very poor. But kind of good if you're on the run and you just have that on the, uh, under the end. And you should know it's not open source, it's proprietary, and you should pay $70, even if you can use it for free. But please pay the guy. <laughs> Next, sorry. The so most advanced one, Flash Develop. Very good. Developed by Philip. Thank you. <laughs> Very good one. Second choice on the community. Uh, because more, 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 more powerful than Sublime, you can, for example, you have a debugging option in there. Very important. Flash, CPP, C++. Um, and it's free and open source. So, uh, wonderful. <laughs> and you have a lot of things like uh, uh, refactoring, uh, source control, Git, SVN. But major uh, 
drawback is Windows only. But uh, no one's perfect. Uh, and last point, last but not least, Flash develop. Uh, Axe develop would be so much nicer. Please consider it. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Uh, my, 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 my personal favorite, IntelliJ ID. Very nice. It's multi-platform. I'm using it. I'm using it on Mac, on Ubuntu. No difference. Very powerful. A lot of things. You can do a lot of things. There's a lot of plugins. Uh, you can configure, customize, anything. And it's uh, it's actually a Java IDE, but there is a plugin open source recently, uh, and it works with a free edition of IntelliJ. So you don't have to pay the 179 license <laughs> if you don't want to to export with Flash. But we all see that HTML, FMB, enemy will be perfect. <laughs> um, and one thing, and I hope someone in the JetBrains who's developing IntelliJ hear me now, please update the plugin, because it's very, very old, actually. So we have a lot of trouble with uh, Axe 3, a lot of new syntax that's not very well managed. So uh, please, please help. Uh, and if you know how to do such plugins, uh, go on GitHub, contribute, uh, you'll see there are about uh, 15 fork of the plugin, but everyone is <laughs> completely in the opposite direction. So I think we should have uh, an effort on uh, a unification of this plugin, and uh, we, sh we, should, we should use that, because IntelliJ is very popular on uh, a lot of language, Java mostly, and it's very easy to use. Uh, and we should, that, that could be a good start for a developer from other language because they already know the IDE. So we must consider that to bring new developers in our community. The new one, IDE. Uh, you should know this is still in beta, so I will be very gentle with it. Uh, that's multi platform because that uh, with Node.js, if I'm not mistaken, you could just look at it quickly. Here, nice. Uh, that's very sharp and poor, actually. Uh, but uh, UI is not the priority here, I think. Um, but the, the, the functionalities are quite advanced, so I think you can use it for a small project, but I wouldn't recommend it for a big, big project for now. I'm sure it will be awesome soon. And um, yeah, it's, it's not JS, so if you know your way in CSS, feel free to customize it, make themes and so on, and build your perfect ID with that. And um, I heard it was uh, funding funded by uh, the X Foundation, so it could be the, the one and the future of uh, X developers. Future will tell. And if you want more, I don't have much time to explain, but we have FDT that I tried uh, that was based on Eclipse. I didn't have a good completion on that, but I passed like one hour on, on that, so but I, wonder, I wouldn't recommend that. MonoDevelop, if you're a, if you're a big fan of MonoDevelop, uh, it has a plugin made by Joshua, I think. And so it's strictly, strongly linked with OpenFL. Uh, so if you're using OpenFL on Linux, maybe you should give it a try. And there is a lot of plugins for a text editor, like TextMate, Genie, Fresh. But uh, if you want a simple text editor, uh, go Sublime. And if you don't need GUI, go Vim <laughs> with the Vax plugin uh, for a remote server, maybe, or if you just don't want an X11 server. And now it's time for your choice. And thank you for uh, listening to me. <laughs> if you have any questions uh, or uh, in
information to give. Uh, you're free, feel free to, to, to speak now. <laughs> You mentioned that Flash Develop now has C++ debugging support. Is that actually true? Is that implemented now? Uh, I, I actually, I didn't test it for to, to be truthful. But I saw uh, I saw the news actually uh, on Twitter. So maybe that was just a, a test or something. But I, I think maybe um, I don't know who developed that. Maybe it's in here. No. Or maybe Philip can um, help me on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so currently there is work on the C++ debugger integration. <coughs> it's actually working in an experimental branch. Uh, the work is being done by the contributor that uh, did most of the ActionScript 3 debugger uh, implementation, mm -hmm. the current one in the Flash develop. Uh, so a big Work has been done on refactoring the debugger infrastructure to support multiple debuggers, and uh, he worked then on integrating uh, the work of Tivo uh, around C++ debugging uh, in the in the UI. So it, do, it does work. It seems to be uh, lacking a few reporting a few things, like not everything is visible when you step all the kind of things, but it's really really uh, in good shape. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up and well integrated into templates and this kind of things. Um, but it's re really promising. And uh, once we have a good infrastructure, we'll definitely also look into um, Hacks.js debugging too at some point. So yeah, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, it's most, uh, it's main uh, question for the Axe Foundation. Um, I don't understand why uh, they have chosen to uh, spend time, money, and energy to build a new idea uh, instead of um, uh, trying to, to contribute to the existing one, like uh, Flash Develop or as a the plugins. idea plugins. Well, uh, we are perfectly fine for helping Flash develop or whatever peop uh, like other idea to, to get better support. Uh, we, it's very really good. And uh, if we fun f can find the right people to work on it, we will pay for it and support it. The reason we started, we, we wanted to have uh, a new idea was that because there is a lot of people coming with different like background from Axe, uh, so it's very really hard to know which ideas they used before. For instance, they might want to use, a, uh, if they're coming from Java, they're using IntelliJ. If they're coming from, from the JavaScript, they're using Sublime or maybe a text editor. So we can't have all of them being at the top level. So we wanted two things. We wanted one is was one need you uh, writing an act that uh, the community could contribute to. Second, we wanted something that uh, was well integrated with all different workflows and that could somehow, a new user, maybe he, he doesn't start with uh, an idea with all the features, but that still he can experiment with the language easily. And we wanted also to be able to write the tutorials, getting started tutorials with one idea and not have 10 tutorials with 10 different ideas. That's all the reason we, I, we think it still makes sense to have one idea, even if it doesn't have all the full-fledged features like SVN integration and uh, refactoring of, of a full-fledged idea. I think having a one like lightweight idea or like more an enhanced text editor that is uh, fully supported with Axe support, that works very well out of the box, is a good way to get started with Axe and then people can then use a more specific idea if they want to. Does that answer the question? Yeah, you, you should know, I didn't uh, say that, but I uh, is developed in Axe, and you, it's, it's available actually on uh, Axlib. You just have to, to try uh, Axlib install hide, and Axlib hide run, run hide, um, and here you go. So very, very easy to start with. We have uh, 
Boyan. Was, who, was I too long? Oh, yeah. Boyan, who Boyan's, says... Boyan's um, the high the, the yeah. developer, exactly. am I right? Yeah. And he <laughs> says thank you on, on Twitter. Hi, you're so. welcome. <laughs> Hi, Boyan. <laughs> And thank you. Thank Did Clemos say anything? <laughs> Did Clemos say anything? No, Clemos is yeah. just, you know, hiding in the yeah, coward. Uh, coward. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> want to confront to yeah. you know the real editors. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about this very important matter? Ideas? No. Did I did I miss anything? One editor you use and is very wholesome and nobody knows about it? No? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> you, you tried uh, IDEs. Did you try also profilers, debuggers, other stuff? Uh, no. Continuous integration tools. Uh, on, on which ID? We, we, no, okay. continuous integration tools. I mean, everything which is related to tooling instead of the language itself. Oh, uh, yeah, actually I'm using IntelliJ uh, from day to day. So I use a lot of his, uh, his tools like uh, Git integration, subversion, uh, refactoring, code formatting, uh, team, um, team chat, actually. <laughs> uh, a lot of kind of cool tools uh, that very uh, very easy to use and very cool to have so that that's a real IDE if you used to to that kind of software like Eclipse uh, mod develop too um, they're all bunch of the same uh, tools same environment uh, so the only th way to compare them was uh, the X support by the plugin so IntelliJ is one of the best in this category of IDE, uh, but that's still a plugin and it's kind of a bit old now. Okay. okay. Anyone? Uh, speaking about the support in the IDs, uh, are there any plans for this year to apply for the Google Summer of Code to maybe enhance the support in some kind of plugins or IDs? Because I know there was a, a try the yes, do that yesterday, not yesterday, do that last year, but it didn't succeed. So are there any plans to do that again this year? I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> it was a bit too fast for me. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was just asking, are there any plans to apply as the Hacks Foundation for the Google Summer of Code to find someone who could maybe work on bringing the support to the other platforms? I think the, the answer is I in front of you. <laughs> I can answer this one. I think we tried to apply all the years to Google Summer of Code, and we were rejected basically because we are programming language and they have already too many programming language. That's it. And I think they have Dart as well, which doesn't <laughs> help. Okay. So, uh, who uses Sublime Text? Sublime Text here. Okay, you can go out now. <laughs> no, I use it too. So, thank you very much. Thank you.